What's up, flame folk? Austin here, back with a simple to use but powerful keying setup you can deploy on your next shitty green screen shot. Quick disclaimer, none of this shit I'm sharing is new except for the setup which allows you to use the power of the IBK and additive keying with a few easy steps. Personally, I found high-end keying to be pretty difficult to get into. A lot of batches break my smooth brain. In short, I suffered so you don't have to. Ultimately, keying is just throwing shit at the wall until it sticks, because if it doesn't, you're doing roto. Here is the main setup I call Simple Keys, which supports three different keyers. To begin, we'll hook up the foreground and background plates. Then we'll start from the top and work our way down, like a new guard is. Starting with the hard key section. The idea here is to pull a nice crunchy key of your shot. No need to be precious at all. Personally, I like to use the 3D keyer, but the beauty of this setup is you can easily swap out the 3D keyer with a keyer of your choice. For example, I'll swap the 3D keyer out with another 3D keyer. Next, let's hop over to the two master keyers and do a quick despill. Now all the keyers are set up. If you're familiar with IBK and additive keying, you can stop the video now. If not, you're fucked. <laughs> Kidding. I'll show you how I tweak things. Let's start with the croc additive keying section. For this example, I'll focus on getting a key of the hair because hair tends to be the most tricky thing to key. First thing I do is I set the global restore to 3, which should make things worse. Why? Because if you can make the key look decent with this setting cranked up to the max, it should look almost perfect when you dial it back down at the end. Then, I set the croc additive keyer as a context and bounce between the master keyer, the IBK mat, and the croc additive key. I mostly adjust the luma channel and the master keyer. Sometimes I open the spill and max out the green, zero out the red and blue. In the IBK mat, I tend to mess with the mat gamma, and I like to link the red channel to the blue channel for green screen shots. For blue screens, you have to change the screen selection to blue and link the red channel to the blue channel to get the same control. The mat gamma tends to affect the gray values in the mat, while the linked red channel will increase the core of your mat. You can ignore the rest of the settings except when you are comping with the IBK. We'll discuss that later. Jumping back into the croc additive keyer, I only adjust the settings in the details slash saturation column. I pretty much ignore everything else. Now that I have the hair in a decent spot, let's move on to the next section. I like to set the comp node as a context and adjust the settings in the master keyer and IBK node to taste. You can totally ignore the key ops group. Finally, we have the last section, which consists of just the IBK node labeled IBK comp. The only thing different I do versus the IBK mats is I adjust the brightness channel to taste, and that's that. 